What if I told you that the electric car revolution could have happened decades earlier, but one groundbreaking vehicle was deliberately silenced? This is the mysterious and shocking story of the GM EV1, a car so ahead of its time that it threatened the very foundation of the auto industry. But instead of changing the world, it vanished almost overnight. The year was 1996. General Motors introduced the EV1, the first modern electric car made by a major automaker. It was sleek, futuristic, and unlike anything else on the road. Powered entirely by electricity, it produced zero emissions, was whisper quiet, and could travel up to 100 miles on a single charge. A big deal for the 90s. People who drove it said it felt like driving a car from the future. But here's the twist. Just a few years after it was launched, GM didn't just stop making the EV1. They actively destroyed almost every single one of them. Why? The answer lies in a web of corporate greed, oil industry pressure, and government inaction. The EV1 wasn't just an experiment. It was a response to California's zero emission vehicle, ZEV mandate which required automakers to sell a certain percentage of zero emission cars. GM took up the challenge and the result was the EV1. It was fast, efficient, and most importantly, loved by its drivers. Those lucky enough to lease one described it as revolutionary, proof that a clean energy future was possible. But there was a problem. The oil industry and traditional automakers weren't ready for this future. An electric car with no engine, no oil changes, and minimal maintenance was a direct threat to their business models. The EV1 wasn't just a car, it was a disruptive force. By the early 2000s, GM abruptly stopped the EV1 program. They refused to sell the cars to eager drivers, reclaimed them from their lessees, and crushed most of them in junkyards. Imagine, a revolutionary product destroyed by the very company that made it. Why? Critics argue that GM caved to pressure from the oil industry and lobbyists who saw electric cars as a threat to their dominance. Meanwhile, GM claimed that there wasn't enough demand for the EV1 despite overwhelming interest from its lessees. Many believe that killing the EV1 was never about demand it was about protecting the status quo. The death of the EV1 wasn't just a setback for electric vehicles. It was a missed opportunity to tackle climate change decades earlier. But its story didn't end in the junkyard. The EV1 became a symbol, a rallying cry for the electric vehicle movement. It inspired the development of cars like the Tesla Roadster and the Nissan Leaf, proving that the electric revolution couldn't be stopped forever. Today, as we see EVs taking over the roads, it's impossible not to think about the EV1 and wonder, what if it had been allowed to thrive? The story of the EV1 is a reminder of how progress can be stifled by those who fear change, but it's also a testament to the resilience of innovation. The EV1 may be gone, but its legacy lives on in every electric car on the road today. It wasn't just a car. It was the spark that reignited the dream of a cleaner, greener future.